That picture that grandma put in her house, that's not Jesus. That was an evil ruler in another side of this country mm -hmm. who decided to paint a picture of himself. You going to Birmingham, that's a southern city. Mm -hmm. Birmingham is known for, you know, it is a southern city, racism back in the day. Yeah. How do you process white Christians that were preaching love but practicing hate? I got a song on my new album that's getting ready to come out called Not Jesus, and it may get me in a lot of trouble. Okay. Um, because the hook says, Black Jesus, that's an apocalyptic poetic image, but it's not Jesus. Mm -hmm. Blonde hair, blue eyes, white Jesus. I hate to say it, but that's not Jesus. And the, and the idea that so many young people, especially young millennials and African Americans are wrestling with is, how can the God of a, how can the God of the oppressed and the oppressor be the same? Mm -hmm. Like how can this Jesus you preach, and especially when, when, when Christianity was used as a weapon to manipulate uh, and, and hold black people down during slavery. Right, that's a big That's, that's a, a big, big deal that we cannot erase. So the thing I had the ability to do in studying at Ashland Theological Seminary or the McCrary Center uh, with William H. Myers, who studied under James Cone, which is the originator of black liberationist theology, I kind of got this blend where I understand black liberation, but then I, was, I also went to Yale so I can see uh, context. So for me, I'm very real. I get in trouble a lot, you know, yeah. because I'm not finna act like uh, we're not in the Bible. We're not present. I'm not finna run from the fact that people have questions. So for me, I think America is at a place where we have to come to grips that a lot of what we taught was not right. Mm -hmm. You know, that that picture that grandma put in her house, that's not Jesus. That was an evil ruler in another side of this country mm -hmm. who decided to paint a picture of himself. She's a bunch of You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. And so that that's not right. So I think what I want my generation and those behind me to understand is that although the gospel was manipulated, it's still right. Mm. You know, it, it's the equivalent of it's the equivalent of if 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 I take a donut and I crush it and I pour Clorox on it and I jam it down somebody's mouth and you see it and then you tell a man he died. First story, mm. he died because they poisoned a donut. Second story, he died because he ate a donut. Five generations later, stay away from donuts. Right. So for me, I think we have to be more vocal in the approach that, hey. I believe Jesus was a man of color. Mm -hmm. You got me? I believe he was from a region where the people had color. I know for a fact that Christianity was introduced to African Americans before we came here. Okay. So we have to have, be knowledgeable and be an apologist. And here's what I would encourage every pastor watching right now. I may be the, me I may be the best communicator on Sunday morning, but I may not be the most, the most well-learned person when it comes to black theology yeah. in a lot of ways. And I have a cat in my city who's cold-blooded. When I tell you this boy, he, he, he can, I mean, I'll, it was in 1862. Right. And I love that about him. And I love sitting down with him and say, school me, what, show me what I'm missing. You know, because at, at first I was like, man, all these different religions are popping up everywhere. Like, what's going on? He said, Mike, let me show you why they say this, why they say that. So for me, I think we just got to be well-knowledgeable and stop. And here's what the church does. You just need to know Jesus. Well, this generation's smart, bro. Like, you're not for <laughs> this generation. Common sense tells me, like, something ain't right about this. And we have to be able to approach it in love and not be offended by the questions that come. Yeah, how do um, some of the white pastors, if you do have those conversations, kind of process your message of uh, the Jesus that we've been given, which is white Jesus, is not Jesus? How do they... What is their response? It's a hard pill to swallow. I think it's, um, and, and if I'm being honest, I don't think we ever come to any solution. I think they tolerate it in the conversation. Could you see them putting a white, a black, a, could you see them doing the opposite, putting a colored Jesus in their no. churches? No, I, I don't think we could. I think, um, I think there's so much oppression, and we have to talk about Willie Lynch. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about all these things that are embedded in the very fabric of who we are. Uh, we, it, it's so much. And I think right now, man, um, I personally, I just don't ever see that being widely accepted, you know, because again, and, and, and let's do this deductively. Can we play devil's advocate? Of course. Let's play devil's advocate. If from the beginning we were told Jesus was black mm -hmm. and everything in America was centered around the African-American race, mm -hmm. how hard would it be for you to lay down your privilege? Mm. 
Like really think about, let's play devil's advocate, that if everything in the, in the entire history for you okay. was slanted toward your advantage, okay. how hard would it be for you to say, ah, uh, so, but conversely, how long do we preach a lie? You know, yeah. how long do we live I, a I lie? I mean, we have conversations like that yeah. on the platform because I think about white people and then slavery. And I don't think, for me, I don't think our spirit is equipped to really carry out slavery as black yeah. people. I don't see yeah. me and you I, absolutely being cool with like having a bunch of slaves in the back and just absolutely. being like, it's all good. I absolutely. can see us having compassion. We're going to see them down. We're going to try to feed them because that's the type of people I think we absolutely. are on a spiritual level. Black people fit in wherever they go.